time to uh, head out to the uh, Good Day Garden. David Whitmom from Whitmom Organics is uh, out there checking in with him. How are things looking? Uh, well, it's looking good. Speaking of setting the stage, we've been setting the stage here to get our winter, some of our winter crops going for our uh, two weeks of winter that we're getting ready to have here. Um, so we're going to be putting in some root crops. Uh, root crops definitely enjoy the cooler weather. Mm -hmm. um, I've got carrots here. We've got three types of carrots. I'm going to put in some beets and I'm going to put in some turnips. Um, so carrots, we've got purple carrots, red carrots, and orange carrots. Um, when you plant carrots, you need to really make sure that the soil is extremely loose and fluffy. So that's going to let that root get down deep and let that carrot expand. So when I plant carrots, I basically go proper planting depth, which is about a quarter inch. And I'm just going to draw a line in the dirt just like that. Now, Russell, I know you've been out here before when, um, when I've done this. So one of the biggest mistakes people make uh -huh. is planting their carrot seeds too deep. The next thing that I see people mess up a lot on is after they plant their seeds, they don't come back in and thin them out. So we got a few things to talk about here between the turnips and the carrots and the beets that I'll be discussing as they come up over the next couple weeks. So like I said, thinning out the carrots is very important. So we want to make absolutely sure that we don't put the seeds in too thick. So the seeds are tiny. They're very, very little. Each one of those seeds is going to make one carrot. Now, carrot seeds are notorious for not uh, germinating very well, so you don't want to sp space them out too far. Um, but you also don't want them to be too close together that's going to make it hard to thin them out. So I just have maybe six seeds in between my fingers here. Right. And I'm just going to kind of roll my fingers together and drop them in. I'm trying to drop them in about a quarter inch apart. You probably can't even see them there in the dirt. But I'm going to do this all the way down the line for the carrots. And then I'm going to follow up and do another row of beets and then some turnips. So, but interesting thing about beets. Yeah. I wanted to show you guys this before we go. Uh -huh. This is kind of fun. So these are beet seeds. They're a little bit bigger. Right. So the beets, uh, if you look at them, it's a very interesting shaped seed. So these actually are not seeds. These are dried up flowers. And each one of these can contain two to five actual seeds. So even if you get your beet seed spacing proper, you're going to still have thinning out to do for sure. And we're going to kind of get into the different nuances on thinning out the turnips versus thinning out the carrots versus thinning out the beets when they all come up. When it, when, and when, when do we expect so that to happen? It's going to be an interesting couple weeks. <laughs> a couple weeks? It's going to be a few weeks? Okay. All right. Thank you, David. Good to see you. Yes. Talk, talk soon. All right. Good to see you, too. Bye -bye.